Alright, so I thought I'd do this video. Um, I'd been thinking about it. I feel like um, I joke around a lot of times. I'm kind of flippant um, about some stuff um, that I think people think may think less of me because of that. Um, I've suffered on and off with depression um, since I was 17. Um, I had a pretty good childhood. Um, I had two great parents, um, a great sister, and I really never wanted for anything. We always, we were never rich growing up. We always had just enough um, so that, you know, like kids could go to school. We would go on family vacations every once in a while. Um, I had a pretty good childhood. Um, I got picked on and bullied, um, I got attacked once, um, for being gay, um, but at that time I didn't really even know what it was, so I just knew that being a fag was a bad, was a bad, bad thing, um, and that was kind of like my middle school story, and then as high school came around I started finding myself, um, I came out during, uh, in between junior and senior year, um, I had gotten really involved in swimming, I was, I went to states three times, um, and I kind of established who I was, um, and I ended up losing my first real boyfriend at that time, and I also lost my best friend when I came out. He is a super conservative straight guy, um, and I think it was just too much for him, um, and then during my senior year, um, they found out that I had a heart condition, um, which they ended up clearing me for so I could compete my senior year. Um, and then um, freshman year of college was when like the depression really hit. Um, seeing my friend on campus, um, we ended up going to the same college the first year. Um, it was just, it was a lot. It was um, a lot to take in, and then when I lost... I had already broken up with my boyfriend, but when I lost him really as a friend, that just kind of compounded. Um, and then I kind of came back to USF and rebooted my life and got back on track and, you know, got a good job. Um, and then I ended up reuniting with my birth mother, which was great. And so it had been kind of like nurturing that relationship. Um, she's amazing. She is... Um, been the source of immeasurable strength over the last few months um, for me and the rest of the family, um, and I I genuinely love her to death. Um, and then about two and a half months ago, my dad got sick and went to the hospital, and ended up finding out that he had all sorts of um, he was basically in extreme pain, and he um, he was bleeding intestinally, and they ended up doing some tests, and then they ended up clearing him. Um, he was still in a lot of pain, but he, he was physically getting better, starting to heal. Um, we think that the damage to his intestines was because of all of the uh, pain meds he had been on for about five years. He had a really bad uh, back, a few back injuries um, that necessitated uh, heavy pain meds. Um, but, you know, we brought him home from the hospital, thought he was getting better, um, you know, he got a doctor's appointment on Friday, we got him out on Wednesday night, um, and Thursday was actually, uh, Thursday, August 18th, he, um, basically, uh, had my mother go run some errands while I was asleep, um, he snuck out of his bedroom, uh, it's, it's not funny, but it's incredible, because he had trouble getting to the bathroom, he was in so much pain the night before, um, basically he, um, found a shotgun, found some shells, um, hopped in his truck, drove about two miles from the house, and he shot himself, um, and it was devastating, um, I remember when the cops came to the house, there were two detectives, it's like, it's like a movie. It's like a TV show where they show up at your house, and they're just like, I need you to sit down. Um, and my mom came in from the kitchen, 
and uh, they told us that they had found him, um, and that, uh, you know, it was self-inflicted, that, um, and I ended up reading the uh, full autopsy report, and he didn't suffer. I mean, he, he, he decided that he was in such bad shape and in so much pain for so long that he didn't want to go on. Um, and so, I guess the point of make, me making this video is to say that, um, like, sometimes I joke about, like, oh, yeah, I'm on Prozac, or I took a Xanax. Um, I developed kind of OCD and general anxiety disorder while I was in college. Um, so when I laugh or joke about, like, oh, I, you know, just took a Xanax, I'm not being some, you know, drama queen or, um, you know, I'm not really even making light of the situation. I think that sometimes we just don't talk about stuff. I mean, everybody has gone through something in life that really sucks. And some people are strong enough to get through it on their own. Others of us need meds. Um, so when I joke about, like, oh, I popped a Xanax, I'm not really... Like, I'm not abusing drugs, I'm not um, trying to be flippant about, you know, mental health issues, it's just, like, I've gone through some shit in my life, especially in the last three months, and, you know, that's what helps me function. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of, like, throw that out there so that people, you know, there's a reason for the madness. I'm not, like, some unhinged person, I've been through some shit. Um, but, yeah, I guess, seek the help that you need. If you need to get help, go and see the right people. Um, I think sometimes people are like, oh, I'm depressed, but I don't want to, like, go and see a therapist or go and get on antidepressants because there's a stigma attached. And if you let there be a stigma attached to it, then you're not going to get the help that you need. Um, but if you say, I need to put myself first, I need to get the help that I need, um, you'll do it. I did the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention's Out of the Darkness walk this weekend. Um, and there are some incredible stories there, and I feel like there are some cases where we need to raise awareness, where, you know, you say, hey, if you're depressed, you know, and you've tried exercise and, you know, all of the things that you can, you may need to be on meds, and that may be okay. Um, I cycle on and off them. There are times when I don't need to be on antidepressants, and then there are times when I need to. Um, and so I think, you know, I, I heard a lot of really sad stories uh, at the walk on Saturday. Um, there was a woman there, there was a rose ceremony at the end, um, where they, you, they call out the deceased um, name, and you walked up there and picked up a rose, and when they asked if there was anybody, uh, whose name had not been called, a woman walked up, um, somebody had just, I think it was her son, had just committed suicide two days ago, um, so there are, there are issues, you know, that need to be raised, and so I think why I'm doing this video is, A, to explain why if you see me on the day and I'm not looking perky, um, I'll be okay. I, I am, I have been through, mom got in a car accident this weekend, and she was like, you know, the old me would have been really upset and anxious, but to be perfectly honest, at this point, at the three or four of us as a family have been through so much that you keep rolling with the punches. You say, okay, that really sucks, but I'm okay, I'm going to continue to be okay, and I'm just going to take it as it comes. Um, so I guess if you need help, get help. Find friends who love and support you for who you are. Um, don't, you know, it can be exhausting trying to be the person that you think other people want you to be. Um, so be yourself, uh, be happy, and if you need help, get help. Um, and don't kill yourself. It's so... It sounds stupid to put it like that, but, you know, you don't understand the pain that you cause those that you leave behind. Um, so if you're thinking about suicide, um, seek help, because in 9 out of 10 cases, 
it's not the right thing. I mean, we found out that dad didn't have any major problems. He had, you know, a health scare and he was in pain, but he would have been okay. Um, and a lot of, you know, teenage suicides, a lot of that stuff, it's the same thing. It's, you know, it's the, it gets better project and all these things, it does get better. So stick around. Um, cause if you don't stick around, you won't be here when it's better. But anyways, that's it for now. It's not a huge breakdown or big deal, but I've been wanting to make the video for a while, so I finally decided to do it. Alright, love you guys. Bye.